In my hand, I have all five models from the Titleist T-Series Iron lineup, including the all-new T100S and the new T400. And in this video, I'll give you some more details on these two new additions to the lineup, and we'll also compare all five of these heads. Uh, we'll throw some numbers up on the screen, I'll take them out in the golf course, and I'll try and give you a good idea of which one of these might suit your game, who they're tailored towards, the different performance benefits they offer, the kind of distance you can expect, the forgiveness levels, everything about these irons, I'm going to run into all that. But before I do, if you're new to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Now if you want to know more about the T100, T200 and T300 that were released last year, I would check out our first look video, we'll have a link to that in the description below, and I'll also put a card on the top of the screen for you to click. So the T100S, this is a really simple story, it's two degrees stronger. That's pretty much all you need to know. Throughout the bag, they've strengthened the lofts by two degrees to give a little bit more distance. To cater for that, they've also slightly redesigned the leading edge, but other than that, it's pretty much the exact same as the T100. It's a fully forged construction. It's got tungsten weighting in it. Uh, it's a very popular iron on the PGA Tour. Feels nice. It's a tour ready iron, but they've given it a little bit, you know, put it on steroids, strengthen the lofts. So for those of you who want that nice forged feel, um, but are looking for a little bit more distance, then the T100S will do that for you. Now onto the T400, and I think it's fair to say this is Titleist's first true attempt at a super game improvement iron. You just have to look at the size of it and say, wow, that is a big Titleist iron. And it's got a very similar design uh, construction to the U-Series Utilities we saw launched last year. It's a hollow body design with a lots of high density tungsten weighting low in the club head, around about 100 grams in some of the heads, so that's a lot of weight that pushes the CG low to give you high launch. Um, we also have a L-face insert, uh, which is going to be very fast and also allowed to flex because of the hollow body construction, so this club head acts like a metal wood to deliver lots of ball speed and a high launch. Um, we also have very lightweight materials, this is one of the stock shafts, it's a graphite shaft that weighs about 50 grams and we also have a lightweight grip, so this is designed for people who really struggle for club head speed, those of you who really struggle getting the golf ball up in the area irons, you're not too confident with them. And to that point we also have a split sole design here uh, and that's going to help you know, if you have a tendency ch to chunk the golf ball then this is going to help you get a little bit more when you're not quite catching it right, it's going to be a little bit more forgiving through the turf. So. You know, it's a big looking iron and it's, as I say, Titleist's first true attempt at a safe super game improvement iron to deliver all the help possible for those who don't, don't feel too confident with their irons. Let's now take a look at the numbers to highlight the differences in performance between the five models. You can see with the T100 uh, that my ball speed is averaging at 125.5 miles an hour, I'm launching at 17.5 degrees, and my spin rate is a little over 7,000 RPM. What that then means is about 174 on average carry, so you know the kind of numbers I would expect of a tour iron with the kind of lofts I'd expect of a 7 iron in this category. Um, we'd like to see that spin rate maybe a wee bit lower, but you know, the numbers I expect to see. Now onto T100S, you see the ball speed jump up ever so slightly to 125.9. The launch angle round about the same, a little bit higher actually, 17.9 degrees. And the spin rate has dropped by about 600 RPM, so a little bit more speed, a uh, little bit lower spin. Uh, as I would expect because this is a wee bit stronger lofted. I was launching it a wee bit higher but there's not a lot in it, you know, you expect this to launch maybe even a touch lower um, than the standard T100 and what that then means is a couple of yards extra on carry, so going about three yards extra on carry and that's what this club's designed to do, it's designed to go that little bit further, give you some added distance over the T100. Um, I've not picked up too much there, some of you will probably pick up in a, a little bit more than me, um, but that's what it's supposed to do, it's the T100 with a little bit more distance, the T100 on steroids basically. Now on to T200, this is a player's distance iron, uh, that's the category it falls in, you see the ball speed again jump up ever so slightly, run out 126.2 on average. Uh, Launch angle fairly similar again, 17.2 degrees, so a little bit lower now than the T100 as we would expect. And the launch, uh, the spin rate has also dropped down once again, so we're now at 6,407. What that then means is yet again some added carry distance, two yards over T100S, a little over four yards over T100. So, you know, doing what it says on the tin, giving me a little bit more distance. That's what this is supposed to be a player's distance club. 
um, giving you some added ball speed and dropping those spin numbers down to give you the distance you're looking for. Now on to T300, this is a true game improvement iron designed to give you lots of forgiveness and lots of ball speed. Um, you can see that the ball speed has jumped up, we're now at 129.8, so almost at that 130 mark. The launch angle remained roughly the same, we're at 17.4 degrees, and the spins dropped down once again, um, we're at 6,198. What that then means is average carry of 185, so about 10 yards longer than T100, uh, around about 6 yards longer than T200, and that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to go a little bit further, drop the spin rates down, but keep a nice high launch angle to give you some more distance. Now onto T400, and you'll see the ball speed has jumped up once again, we're now at 132.6. Uh, the launch angle's dropped down a little bit, we're at 16.8 degrees, and the spin rate has dropped quite significantly, we're now at 5,279. Well, that means it is an average carry of 195.2, so 10 yards further than the T300, and about 20 yards further than T100, which is no surprise considering just how powerful a golf club this is, the hollow body construction, the high speed L face insert, the high density tungsten weighting. Now, each of these irons is doing exactly what it should in terms of distance as you progress up from T100 to T400, getting some more ball speed, progressively the spin rates are also dropping, so getting more distance. And I'm sure many of you are saying at home, but that's just because the lofts are stronger. Well, that is partly true, but also we have designed these golf clubs. But despite the fact that the lofts, especially when you compare T400 to T100, are quite a lot stronger, I'll show them on the screen, you can see when I bring in the height and the landing angle that they're performing like seven irons. So you can see the descent angles, there's really not a lot in it, they're all around about 50 degrees. So despite the fact that this T400 has got super strong loft, it's playing like a 7-iron. It's giving you control, it's giving you stopping power. You can see the peak height is the highest of any, it's flying a mile into the sky, and then it's just dropping down like a stone. So despite the fact we have varying lofts, despite the fact it gets quite strong when we get to T400, it's still going to perform like a 7-iron for those that need help those that need help those that need distance those that need forgiveness this is going to play like a seven iron it's going to give them the help they need but it's still going to give control even if even though we've got strong loft all that high density tungsten weighting that flexible l face insert means it's going to launch the ball a million miles into the sky and it's going to stop dead on the green so there's the numbers let's now take them out on the golf course and see if that rings true so i've got 167 to the pin it's playing 172 up the slope I've marked all the golf balls, I've got the five irons here, so 172, we breeze into, I reckon the T100 should come up short, the T100S should probably just about get there, T200 should be bang on for distance, T300 should probably be off the bat, and the T400 should airmail it, so let's see if that's the case. Just clung on to the front edge, I think that pin is up the back, now T100S. Yep, on the green, safe as houses. Okie doke, that's two down. Two good strikes as well in a row, that's unheard of. Okay, T200. Now, looking at those two, that pin looking up the back, I think this should be bang on the money if I catch it just right. I think that could be good, I think that could be close. T300. This should go through the back, I would think, if I catch it right. So high. For something with not a lot of loft, it just shows you that it's just launching a mile into the sky. It really does get up there. Okay, last but not least, T400. I reckon this should probably airmail it, but we'll wait and see. I've caught that quite poorly. I reckon there's a good chance it's still through the back, even though I didn't catch it quite right. So let's head up there and see how they all turned out. So let's have a look and see where they've all ended up. First up, I'm pretty sure this is going to be T100. Yeah, there we go, a badly drawn T100. Stopping quickly there, checking back a wee bit. You know, I knew back down there it wasn't enough club. It was uphill, it was into the wind. It just wasn't quite enough club for me to get there. I reckon this will be T100S. And it is, there we go. Again, stopping quickly. And that two degrees of added loft just giving me a wee bit more distance to get around about pin high. So two degrees of loft, probably about eight yards difference there. So 
just giving me the help I need to get up the hill into the wind. T200 should have been bang on for distance. There we go, T200. Bang on pin high pretty much. You know, again, just fairly similar in terms of distance to the T100S, as you can see. That was, that's the, what I was getting with my numbers, so good to see that. I reckon this will be T300, if it's on the right line. T300, yeah, that's the one, so again, just about through the back stopping nice and quickly again you can see the pitch mark so getting plenty of distance plenty of stopping power with the t300 and then lastly didn't quite strike it right t400 gone pretty much the exact same distance as t300 so all the irons doing as they say on the tin and that just shows that these irons are going to deliver different kinds of performance for different golfers if you're needing a wee bit more distance a wee bit more help you go with Maybe the T200 or the T300. If you want maximum help, maximum forgiveness and speed, you'd go T400. If you want a tour iron, T100. If you want something that feels and looks like a tour iron but gives you a little bit more distance, maybe massage your ego a wee bit, you go with the T100S. But certainly, all five performing like seven irons, despite the fact that they've got different lofts. Each of the club heads have different lofts. They're all performing like seven irons. Uh, they're all stopping quickly. They're all giving good height and you know just making them very playable clubs and i think that's what i'm trying to get across in this video uh it doesn't really matter so much uh regardless of the loft in these seven irons they're designed to play like a seven iron um and certainly the numbers have been shown that in here on the golf course you know getting good stopping power getting different distance different levels of forgiveness from each but they're all giving you know a ball flight the height and the stopping power of a seven iron so it's all about going and getting fitted though, seeing which one's right for you. I know personally I would go for the T100, it's just a tour iron, it suits my kind of game. Um, but as I say, you know, you've got the different models there to suit you, but go and get fitted, find out which one works for you the best. That's what this game's about, get the right clubs, it's going to help you shoot some lower scores hopefully. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the irons and tight lists, t-series then just leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and thank you very much for watching